Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. This is episode number two in which we are going to do chapter one. In the last episode we did Prologue Mercenaries and in this episode we are going to be continuing on with our game. So, let's get started. So, going to restart chapter and we're going to go from the battle begins. Chapter 1 The Battle Begins. Mercenary Fort. Good morning, Ike. Today's your first day as a personal soldier, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm ready to go. What what you are is late. The others were suited up and ready at the break of dawn. Sorry, I'll get up earlier from now on. So, what's my first job? I'm talking with Tritania right now. Wait outside until we're done. Yes, sir. Very well, Commander Grail. Shall we continue? You're telling me about some bandits that need to taken care of, aren't you? Correct. The request comes from a nearby village. According to our reports, the bandits are not uh, all that strong. I think it's best if I ride out and take a look. I plan on taking Oscar and Boyd along with me. Just the brothers, hmm? Go ahead and add Ike to your team. Shinon, Gaitry, and I can handle the other two jobs easily enough. Titania, I'm leaving Ike in your care. I'm just you showing the ropes. Understood, Commander. Come on, Ike, let's get you set up. Alright, my first job. Captain Titania, the preparations are complete. I am ready to go. Impeccable timing. It's nice to know we can always count on you to be at the ready, Oscar. Don't forget about me. I'm ready for action. Is that so, Boyd? That's a surprise. Ha! <laughs> Not today, it isn't. As of today, I'm going to be an absolute model of perfection. I need to set a good example for Ike. I'll take your word for it. Your first campaign at last. I know you've wanted this for a while. Are you nervous, Ike? I think I was more nervous last night. I could hardly sleep. This morning, I'm pretty, feeling pretty good. It's the calm before the storm. You should try to relax. You're not going to be out there alone. Yeah, you're right. Right, everyone ready? Let's go. Alright, let me explain what's going on. This is the map of Caldea. They've hired us to drive us some bandits. We're the blue marks. The red dots are the bandits. There aren't any of them, but we can't get careless. The only thing in the building up north is their leader. Our mission is to take them out and recapture their building. Alright, listen up. All this stuff is old news to me, but I feel like I could give a rookie like you a few tips. First off, don't let yourself get worked up and jump in front of everyone. You'll end up getting hurt. Oh. Basically, as long as you think about things before you actually do them, that's probably the best idea, rather than just go balls to the wall and charge everyone in. Alright, before you engage an enemy, you take a good look at his weapon. The weapon you use often determines who has the upper hand in a fight. For example, the axe I'm wielding serves me well against lances, but it fares with less well against swords. My lance is great against swords, but not against axes. And to complete the triangle, my sword is strong against axes, but weak against lances. Exactly. If you can remember that, you'll be more effective in combat. That's just the basics, though. This is coming handy soon enough, so don't forget it. Swords over axes, so I won't forget it. Not for remember that others have the advantage over you, Boyd. Do you think you can find maybe a different way of remembering? Yeah. Thanks. And one more thing. Don't forget to visit the locals. We're here to help after all. The villagers welcome our presence. Okay. First of all, this house. This bandit will try and destroy this house. There is no way on this earth you can ever get anywhere near this before the bandit destroys the house. It is physically impossible. Um, so, as we were saying, we're going to move Boyd over here and we're going to attack this guy with his iron axe. Do some nice damage. Right. We're going to move Oscar up here and stab the guy in the head. Because he gets to attack twice because of speed bonuses. We're going to move Ike up here and make him wait. And we're going to move Titania into the house and make a visit. Awesome. Okay, one thing about Titania people might not realise. People think her as level 1 with 33 HP. Oh my god, she's so brilliant because she has 33 HP at level 1 and she's so brilliantly awesome at everything. Okay? This is complete idiocy. 
Titania is not a level 1. Titania is a level 1 Paladin. That means she's level 21. The max level in this game is 40. So she's already halfway to being the maximum level in the game. And she doesn't have good stats really compared to everyone else. She might have a few higher bonuses than everyone else, but compared to, you know, what you should be at level 21, there's nothing major. The only reason people think she's so good is because she's level 21. So using her to kill people is sort of a waste of experience because she's so high leveled right now anyway, there's no point. Pah! A bunch of mercenaries looking for their next meal. The villagers must have hired them. Listen up, lads! Hurt em, hurt em bad! We let this bunch live and we'll have hordes of our swords hurting us for the rest of our days. It's those fool villagers. They think they can buy a bunch of soul swords to chase us away. I ain't gonna work out how they want it. All they got for their trouble is a bunch of ruined houses. Turn them down, boys. That'll teach them. Do 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 do. Boink. And it burns down their house. And now I got mad. So, boy's gonna try and deal with him. He's gonna try and attack Ike. Probably won't go very well. Because he also gets to attack twice. Because speed bonuses are brilliant. And Bandit's gonna come and they're gonna try and go over that house. So, at this point, I want Ike to move... Actually, I want Ike to move at the middle. And get him to wait there. I want Oscar to move here and poke the Swordsman in the head. Because he has a bonus. And I want Boyd to finish this guy off. Oh. Cheeky. And might as well get the Titania up here just in case things go to poo. So. Let's go poke him. He's going to die. Nice and simple. Gonna come and try and attack the house anyway, even though that's not a good idea. He's gonna level up to level three, so that's all good. Level three ranger. You can press start to skip the whole animation, so you just see exactly what they've leveled up straight away. Right, there you go. So he's down finally. Boyd's gonna get some lovely experience points. Uh, we're gonna get Boyd to move up here and have a vulnerary on the house because. You know, he's looking a bit worse for shape. Um, Ike's also going to have one. Because he needs one, just in case. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And we're going to poke him, the bandit, with Oscar. As long as you're sort of getting people that are hitting twice, even if they're a bit weaker, it doesn't really matter. It shouldn't matter anyway. That's alright. Okay, so now the bandit's going to come and try and do some nasty work. Now he's going to die. Awesome. And I'm going to move Boyd over here, try and attack the bandit. Uh, we'll have Ike finish this guy off. And we'll have Oscar finish this guy off. Or maybe not, but hopefully. Yes. Okay. So Oscar's going to level up. He's going to become a level 2 Lance. Oh, level 4 Lance, not even. So there we go. And moving back. Horse men and women can move their entire movement range even after they've attacked. So you move up, attack, and then you have the rest of their movement range to do whatever you want with. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with Titania this turn, so I'm going to end that there. Oscar's going to visit this person. Since the since those bandits took over, we can't even sleep at night. Please, help us save our village. Here, my mother left me this. I hope it serves you well. A Seraph robe. Nice. Okay, so we're going to move up here. Boy's going to take another vulnerary. Um, Ike's going to stay still. And we're going to wait for a bit. Enemy in phase, not going to do anything. Oscar, take another vulnerary, please. Or oh, a vulnerary, even. Okay, so now what we're going to do? I'm going to move him up there. Boyd here. Ike here. And have a vulnerary. And Titania here. Now 
Hey, you're nothing but a boy. Well, every butt needs a beating now and then. Are you ready for it? Not today. If you want to run away, now's your chance. <laughs> Imagine that. You're sussing me. Don't that beat all. So as you can see, Ike is quite a good character, but he just hits quite weak. Don't worry, I want to leave him on 1 HP, for good reason. I'm gonna rescue. Basically what you can do is, anyone with a weight stat, you can rescue someone who's less weight than you. I don't know the specific numbers, but I know that, you know, it's not very difficult to understand. And we're gonna get Boyd to finish him off. Uh, you come to the right place, I'll give you a tussle. Doink! I, I meant for better than this. I, I don't want to die here. Well, too bad. Lovely XP. Mm -hmm. Level 3 fighter. Yes. Iron Axe. Awesome. And we're going to get... This music is awesome. When you, when you win and you can't possibly do anything else, and you've won because you're amazing, this is what music plays. And we're going to get Ike to come up here and finish the mission. Seize. And clear the map. Lovely. That's the end of it, Ike. Are you alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. You know, you surprised me to think you've come so far. Look at my father, though. I've still got such a long way to go. There's nothing you can do about that. After all, Commander Grail is... <laughs> what about my father? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Now I'm really curious. Don't worry, you'll learn all about it someday. Hey, Ike, that wasn't bad for your first battle. Not as flashy as my first time, though. Yeah, you're a real standout. I never forget the sight of you so keyed up or you broke your own axe. Oscar, dang it! You didn't have to bring that up. Anyway, I congrats on finishing your first mission. Welcome to the group. Everyone's alright? Then let's get going. I'm sure Mist has a nice hot meal waiting for us. And that, my friends, was the end of Chapter 1. I have been Final Fantasy 6464. Join me next time when we do Chapter 2. Until then, guys, bye bye